Do, 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 do. I think we're live. Things aren't working right, though. <laughs> that's just the way life is. So here we go. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong, Brad. There it is. The magic. I was too far down in the little scroll thing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries, welcome to the Magic Brad Show this morning. This is the morning version because here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, it's not noon yet. That makes it morning. In fact, I think it's morning until 1159, if I'm not correct. Go ahead and remind me and, and put me in my place because that's what the internet is for now <laughs> these days. But today we're going to be talking about this thing right here. It's called customer service. And my friend, Bo Young, he's in the green room. I got to go get my assistant to go over there, knock on the door and get him out of there because there's a big star on there says, Bo, you know, and sometimes they wait till the last minute. So I'm going to bring our, our guest on today. Please stand by and please welcome my friend, Bo. You there, Bo? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, my friend. Excellent. Hey, happy to I'm be gonna here. Scooch, I'm going to scooch you over the other side da, 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 like that. I can do that with this fancy dancy software so that you don't get confused with my little Magic Brad logo up there. I don't want people thinking you were me. I don't know how you do that. It's magic. Click and drag, they call it. Click and drag. Okay. All right, cool. What a drag it is. So how are you today? Wonderful, I'm I hope. I'm fantastic. I've had a busy morning and uh, yeah, just kind of getting started. Here we go. So I'm doing great. How about you? Wonderful. As, well, last night we went to an event over at uh, a place called um, Crooners in Fridley. Okay. I grew up. I grew up over there when I was a little kid. It used to be called Shorewood because it's on the shore, north shore of Moore Lake over there. All right. And they had an outdoor event because that's what you got to do these days. And there was a, what do you, how do you say that? Flamenco when they do this stuff. Okay. All right. You do it better yeah, than I. Watch. Man, their heels, their, their, I don't know how they do that with their foot moving it back and forth so fast, but it's pretty amazing. Right on. But my wife loves that stuff, so I bared the cold and we sat out there and had hot chocolate. And you know, I had a, I had coffee and she had a, one of those things with alcohol in it. I don't touch the stuff. All right, good for you. Good for you. So <laughs> let's get into this here. Yeah. I want to talk about customer service. And part of the reason why I do want to talk about that is I've been looking at a lot of this whole this whole marketing thing all my life. And I found that lead generation, although sometimes it's hard to get someone to generate a lead and, and get them to put in their email address. And you, first, you got to establish that trust factor before they'll do that. It's a lot of work trying to get them to generate that lead. Yeah. And it can get expensive when you're buying ads or just time intensive when you're trying to get someone to trust you, especially when you're working your butt off on YouTube, and then you find out your customers are on LinkedIn. <laughs> sure. So it's hard to dial in on that. So when you go through all that work to get that customer and you finally get them, how are you going to keep them? Uh, I have an idea. <laughs> I'm sure you do, and that's why you're here, because I think it's um, – in fact, it's even it's even um, a customer acquisition process of what you're doing. And it's, it's the, the gifting process. In fact, I'm going to put this little thing right up here. Customer service. And then we got betterappreciation.com because that is Bo's company, Better Appreciation. Yeah. And what company, company, what customer does not want to be more appreciated? All of them, I would think. <laughs> they do. They do. You know, uh, Brad, the, the reality is, is most, cust or most companies and business owners that I speak to, uh, when I ask them what is their uh, client appreciation program look like, uh, the the room goes silent uh, because they they have great intentions. They want to do this. They want to take care. They want to say thank you. They want to be top of mind. They want to do all these things. They just don't really do a great job of it. So they acquire the customer and hope they stick around. And I think we both know that business stays where it's appreciated and goes where it's asked. And so if you aren't taking care of the person you have. Uh, they really aren't going to stick around. And uh, you know, so I'm going to interject. I don't know that they don't do a good job of it. I mean, granted, they don't. <laughs> but <laughs> the reason they don't, I think, is because it's a lot of work getting that customer's mailing address or contact information. And then yeah. if you're going to do some kind of appreciation uh, thank you card, even a thank you card, you got to go to the store and you got to go buy it. Then you got to make sure you got stamps. So you can put a stamp on it. Then you got to take it to the post office box and mail it. That ends up being a lot of work. And in today's technology world, there's easier ways to do things. There right? is. 
You are spot on, Mr. Magic Brad. Uh, I think I may have been Tony Robbins, but somebody once upon a time said, I think complexity is the enemy to execution, right? So we have to keep things simple. If there's a systematic process that can be used that's easy, then people can actually follow through. Uh, and the system that I use, uh, it, and so betterappreciation.com is a website that we have uh, that lay, lands you there, learn a little bit more about me and what I do. And it reconnects you to um, a company called bannerseason.com. And banner season, the, the, the methodology behind it, the idea behind it is that we want every business owner or sales rep, what have you, to have a banner season, a great season, but every season, right? And it's possible. Um, people do business with those they know, like, and trust. And the last piece, I think we talked about it before, is if they remember you, right? So, yeah. We, so staying uh, in, in front of customers, uh, we gave an example before uh, for realtors, for example, right? Sell you the home. Uh, the CEO of the company, uh, I just watched the thing yesterday. The CEO of Banner Season uh, has bought eight homes in his life. One of them was it was in excess of a million dollars. At no point along those transactions has he heard back from those realtors. Now that's not, that's not an industry thing. I know some fabulous realtors that do better follow up than anybody I know, but not yeah. all do. And that's just one example, right? So if you can, if you can add a client to your database, you can add a client, you sold them a home. And now every quarter for the next two and a half years with a few clicks, they're going to receive a gift in the mail without you having to follow up and, and do this. So it's systematic appreciation, we, they call it kind of an automizer because it's not just a gift, it's personalized. So when you personalize that gift, it, it, A, it gets open. You send somebody a box in the mail, Brad, by the end of the weekend, you will have received a box from me from our last interaction. I was hopeful that you had received it by now, but the holiday caused that problem, we're a day behind. So anyways, uh, that follow-up is pretty critical. So that's it. Well, I, I know, speaking of realtors, I know a guy that what he does for his customers is he has them throw a party. So yeah. he brings, he puts some money into it. He gets it catered. And he then, um, when the party's over, he brings in a cleaning company to clean up their house for them. And they're, they're not supposed to do a lift a finger. They're not supposed to do anything. However, doing that, that's a great thing. But yeah. it requires a lot of work to find the caterers, see if the date's ready, available, pick out a menu for all the stuff that's going to be going there. And then after it, you know, getting the cleaning company and scheduling that date, make sure you can line that up with the, so that ends up being a good system. It works for him. It's uh, people right. appreciate him, but that, that's a little bit more work than a lot of people have time for these days. Yeah. Right. And those things are awesome. Right. I mean, setting that up and then, but what happens six months later, a year later, two years later, three years later after they've done that? Um, because that is, you know, some business are known for the big gift box or the gift basket. And, and that's great. It's just the follow-up after that that's lost. And we know the fortunes in the follow-up. So staying in touch with people on a consistent basis, showing your appreciation over and over again is a real differentiator in today's marketplace. Uh, I, I hear sound bites or read quotes and I never remember who said it. And I feel terrible about that. But I, I read one once upon a time that said, uh, life is like the game of Tetris. If you fit in, you disappear. And as a sales rep, you don't want to disappear, right? You, no, you want to no. be stay top of mind. So when that person says, hey, I'm looking to sell my house or I'm, I'm looking for insurance or whatever, you want someone, a brand advocate to say, oh, I've got the person for you. So if well, you don't have raving fans, like, you're missing the boat. I was going to say in my previous business, I did disappear. I was a magician full time. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you know there's value in you disappearing. Yes, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> but for impressive. most people, that's not. But so. when, I, when I was doing bank magic full time, I had a, uh, a system that I used and I mailed out postcards four times a year and sometimes six times a year. But I did it when, you know, it's good to be company picnic time. So I wanted to hit all the company picnics. Holiday party time. Then there's trade show time. And then there's kind of dead time. You want to stay in front of people when it's dead time. But I had to go to the printer. First I had to design it. Then I had to go to the printer and I had to get a, like 5,000, 10,000 or printed. And then I hand labeled them and hand stamped them myself. Right. And that's very time intensive. But uh, yeah. it's important to stay top of mind with the customer because uh, someone else is knocking on their door almost every day. That's that's absolutely correct. You know, and so I, I don't think I've highlighted the fact that the idea that behind this system is that from your from your computer, from your tablet, from your phone, you can create a custom personalized uh, card, 
a gift, some brownies, a water bottle, a coffee mug, coasters, whatever it is. You can create this item. It gets printed, created, shipped with your return address with no additional labeling like some of the big companies out there. Uh, and you become the hero as the sender because it looks literally came, comes from your office. Uh, that's a pretty neat thing. You don't have to worry about getting to the post office and weighing it and taping it and doing whatever. So to be able to get that out, you mentioned postcards. Our system, mm -hmm. if you're on a, on our discount plan for $49 a month, you can send literally unlimited postcards, standard postcards, only pay postage. You don't pay a penny for the postcards. So I look at right now, like in, you know, candidates that are, I'm, I'm getting mail every day. If these people knew about the system, literally everybody get a postcard almost every day. I mean, you're only paying shipping. And uh, so, yeah, there's, there's a lot of features within the system, but when you send someone uh, an email, we know the open rates on an email, right? Eight, 10% maybe get open. When you send somebody a package with their name on it, it has a hundred percent open rate. It's going to get well, open. Here's something even I think more important in the email world because I'm I, I live in the, on the internet kind of thing that maybe it might not get open, but the reason it didn't get open is because it's probably somewhere else in the feed. Right. But the right. the package is sitting there on the dining room table. <laughs> right. You, know? you can't help but open it. Right. <laughs> yeah, you can't be hidden somewhere, especially the way that you do it because you sent me a bunch of brownies once and it had my name on it like it was my package. You know. Right. Right. Yeah. And that, you know, somebody's name is one of the most important words to them, period, just their name. So even mm -hmm. if it's just that, but when you go even further with some of the customization that you can do, uh, it just is, a, is it's a differentiator. I, I shared this system with, uh, with a professional in sales that has a, a rather large database of clients, right? This individual took about um, an hour working with our company, uploading their list and deciding on the right package to send to their customers. They added the package to their cart. They picked the recipients, which is 1800 households. And that was the end of it. Hit submit, spent a decent amount of money, but was able to get a package in front of every one of her clients without a whole lot of work and was an and absolute hero because she did it. The automation feature, I think, is important, too, because sometimes we just forget about things and you don't want to forget about a customer that's paying you ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a year or something. So you want right. to keep them. I got your uh, little logo up here in case anybody wondering how to find you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Better, yeah. Better appreciation. I'll keep that up for a while so that uh, when it goes up on YouTube, they can find it there, too. Right. Um, what I guess what I was I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, you're about, talking about the automation. Yeah, yeah, the automation. I think that's really, really important. Because just like this video here, I had the, I had already had this scheduled. So it was already there. I didn't have to worry about it. And there's little reminders that kind of remind us humans that forget about stuff. I think it's really important that the, that there's automated processes, you know? Yeah, it's systematic and automated, right? But you don't want to automate everything. No. You want to, some personalization. So the fact that you can balance personalization with the automation. Um, I mentioned that example where you can have something go out on a campaign every quarter for two and a half years or three years or once every six months for five years, whatever you want to do, you can create that. And as soon as you mm -hmm. set that in motion, you don't have to go back and re revisit it. And you get charged as that's developed and printed and sent late, you know, six months, three months down the road. We have, um, we have, I have dozens of customers that uh, have a retail type of a business, right? Uh, a small engine repair or mechanic or uh, just a retail store. And they use their point of sale software, they use Shopify or QuickBooks or what have you. And our system can talk to their system using some cool technology that I know nothing about. So that every time that invoice is generated, the two systems talk and it's going to generate a thank you. And it can be based on parameters. It might be okay. It was a, they spent a nickel, so they're going to get a postcard. They spent a hundred dollars. They're going to get a coffee mug. Um, you can mm -hmm. set all these things. As soon as it's set up, you don't have to worry about it. As a business owner or sales rep, it's just going to automate the process. So you are saying thank you in a consistent basis. So uh, it's it's just a lost art, I think, today to make sure that follow-up is there along with just that personalized thank you. So, Yep. And I think a lot of it is the time factor because, you know, you got to take the kids to soccer. You got to go grocery shopping. You got things you got to do. So it's hard to take the time to write out a little postcard and send it to them or a thank you card or putting a stamp on it, like I said before. And 
getting the right address and is it deliverable and all that kind of stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I mentioned um, once before too, we have a thing called mailbox power. So from my phone, it acts like an app, looks and feels like an app, but I can go to my, my mailbox power and I can, I can create a card right from there for a customer, for a client, for a friend, for a family member, right from there, add a package of brownies if I want and get it sent. I can send them a link saying, hey, can you confirm my address? So it's my contact manager, it's my CRM, um, but also allows me to send a gift without having to enter multiple systems. So there's the technology is really quite impressive uh, to be able to do that. But you're right, I think everybody wants to do this. They just don't want it, they have great intentions. They just don't always follow through. And this system allows you to act on your promptings and get it done. So here, here's something I don't know if I'm putting you on the spot or something, but oftentimes uh -oh. when people have these things, they don't tell you how much it is. Are you able to say approximately how much it is per month for someone to use a system like yeah. this? Yeah, uh, there's there's a couple ways to, to use the system. One, there's a retail customer. It costs you nothing every month. There's not a subscription. You just pay as you go. That's ridiculous. Nothing. It is ridiculous, yeah. But what you do is you pay more per item, right? You're not getting a discount plan. So you're a retail customer. So you're paying full retail price. And that's fair. That works. That's for people that use it minimally. If you're a sales rep or you're using something consistently or you're doing more than just a card here and there and you're sending packages to people, which really, really stand out. Uh, ideally, you spend $49 a month for a discount plan. That's like your Netflix subscription, right? That's your subscription to get a discount for 25 plus percent off of items. It also gives you free postcards if you want to send those. You just pay postage. So $49 a month is your worst case scenario. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, and then if you're on that plan to send, say, a custom card and a package of brownies to somebody, to someone around the country, the world, will cost you around $10 um, to get that in their hands. You can send a coffee mug, a really nice 15 ounce, completely customized coffee mug or a tumbler or a really nice you know, water bottle. Um, you can send those as well. And those, those range in prices from 15 I have a question for to 30. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think it's probably, your system probably works similar to some others that I've seen that it uses the, like if you're sending something over to Australia or the United Kingdom, you're actually using their postal service and their stuff, right? You're not shipping anything overseas. Yeah. So the system, everything gets printed in Salt Lake city and it gets shipped out from there. Uh, oh, so really? it does go through the normal system we use. It's all trackable. Um, U.S. Postal Service, they also use the other carriers, DHS and some others, based on the need. And the company, there is no upcharge or upsell or markup on the shipping. You pay what it costs for the company to get that item shipped based on the location it's going to. And then you're just at the mercy of that process. So some things get delivered in a couple of days and some things take a week or more uh, based on the, the, the country it's going to or whatever. So, yeah, you can successfully yeah. send all over coronavirus or something might get in the way and it might take a little longer. <laughs> Some things <laughs> do slow do? down. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, it's so, yeah, there's no markup there. And once again, I think the other piece that's really critical is it's white label packaging. So there is no additional branding on it. it no one would know that, that it was banner season uh, or better appreciation or anything that's done. It. It's you, you packaged it and you put whatever logos or things that you want on there, which is pretty cool. Um, that's what I was pretty impressed with when I got my little package. It's, uh, it's like, who's this? Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing, Brad, I'd mentioned that we don't talk about a whole lot, but there's there's also the opportunity for those that are interested that to have their packages paid for. Um, you know, I know you're a fan of affiliate marketing world. Um, I'm involved with just a couple things that I, you know, by sharing a link or sharing something, I get a chance to make a nickel. Um, mm -hmm. But that's that is another opportunity, too, for those. We have people that that have you know added their firms and, and users to use the system properly. And they're helping their business and in response, they're actually making a little bit of money, which is pretty neat. And, you know, some are making a decent amount, some are, you know, just a little bit enough, but that's another option that can be discussed. So. Well, very cool. Yeah. Um, like I mentioned, time is a commodity, so I don't want to do this too long. I'm going to kind of close this off and then beam it up to the universe and let the internet do its work because it's Magic. good at that. Yeah. It is. I mean, someone types in a word and then you, it's just bizarre how it all works. I'm fascinated by it. Fascinated and frustrated at the same time. Well, is if anybody any can understand how that works, it's you as a magician, right? I mean, how many years did you, and you still perform magic, right? I do, but not so much with the COVID thing going on. Nobody wants to talk to me. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> exactly.
<laughs> Although on that topic, it's pretty fascinating how people have adjusted to it. There's a friend of mine that's local here, and he created a thing called Turf and Tar Magic Show. Okay. Where you pay him via PayPal, and he just shows up in your driveway on your front lawn, and you can watch through the picture window or from your garage. That's brilliant. <laughs> now that's yeah, that's pivoting. That's making it happen, right? Making it work. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, let me throw this up here one more time. Betterappreciation.com is the domain to connect with Bo. And I'm assuming that, uh, let me just guess, your email address is bo at betterappreciation.com. It is. It is. And I'll tell you, if you go to betterappreciation.com, there, there's a few buttons. You got to click around, right? Find your place. But there's one, a couple buttons in there, send, send myself some wow or send me some wow. Uh, by clicking that, filling out that link uh, with your name and address, your physical mailing address, we're going to send something to you for nothing. Uh, and it's a nice little package. And the beautiful part about it, you talk about automation. I don't have to do anything. It's just going to get done. But you're going to be impressed. And so, uh, yeah, anybody that's watching this, feel free to check that out. Well, wonderful. So yeah. let me uh, throw a little plug up for me right now. Ta-da. It's the Magic <laughs> Brad Show. That's, that's all about me. If anybody wants to be interviewed, I can do that. Bo, I'm going to put you into the green room if you want to stick on for a little while, have a little conversation with you. But sure. I'm going to close this up, beam it up to the universe, and let the universe do its thing. So appreciate you taking the time this morning. You too. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it, Brad. Always good to chat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries, this is Magic Brad at magicbrad.com. The man, the myth, the legend. That's me. Well, I don't know about a maybe a myth. I think I'm a myth. But this is what I do on a regular basis, uh, kind of the event industry kind of shifted a little bit. So I'm doing a lot of online stuff these days and kind of getting things out for other people. If it's something that you want to have done. This is again, uh, what Bo's got to going down. It's all about customer service. And oh, let me get that magic Brad thing out of there. So you can see what's going on. Customer service, betterappreciation.com. You got to take care of your people or they won't take care of you. You know what I mean? That's just the way it works. Whoops. Got too many buttons to push. <laughs> okay, once again, thank you very much. Peace, love, happiness. Be good, be kind, be nice. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by, folks. <laughs>